On February 5, 1852, the Bill Berry Reservoir flooded. 86 million gallons of water flooded the city of Home Firth, England and killed 81 people. My great, great, great grandmother, Anne Shackleton, was a survivor. The Bilberry Reservoir was one of the three reservoirs constructed for the various mills within Home Firth. However, the mill owners were not paying for the water used, so the reservoir was not able to be maintained. In the days leading to the flood, there was extreme rain. On the 4th of February, it was apparent that the reservoir would overflow. There were warnings sent around the town, but they had all heard these rumors before and were not convinced. Around 10 p.m., the embankment started to give away, and by 12 a.m., it was overflowing, and another group of runners alerted the town, but was not able to awake everyone. At 1 a.m., the dam collapsed. 83 buildings were destroyed, 164 were damaged, and 81 people were killed. But Anne Shackleton survived. That day, she lost her parents and her three siblings, Hannah, who was only nine years old, Grace, who was nearly five years old, and James, who was only a year old. You might be wondering how she lived, but her family didn't. Well, Anne was conceived when her parents weren't married, and as you may know, during the 1800s, birth out of wedlock was considered shameful, and families often tried to keep it a secret. But in this case, it saved her life. Anne lived with her grandparents outside of a home firth, and only at 11 and a half, she was declared a flood orphan. Because of this, she was given five shillings a week, which was approximately $100 today. And she was given that until she turned 16 years old. 10 years after, she married Alfred Baxter and had six children. Her two daughters were named after her late sisters, Grace and Sarah Hannah. Her youngest son, Lawrence, had four children, including my great-grandfather, John Alfred Baxter. John married Mabel Hallis Firth, and they had two daughters together, Brenda and Anne, who is my grandmother. Anne Shackleton Baxter lived to be 82 years old and passed away on November 5th, 1922. Although her memory lives on five generations later. And even though I live in America, I still have many relatives who live close to home Firth and can visit Anne's grave. But I would love to travel there sometime and see it for myself. This was a truly fascinating story to uncover, and it's crazy to think without her surviving, I would not be here today.